I thought we were done with Joe Crowley, the Democrat that lost to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in New York's 14th district. The Democrat that was next in line to Nancy Pelosi for House Speaker. The Democrat that was funded by big money donors and did not represent the interests of New York's 14th district. Ocasio-Cortez defeated him, but it appears Joe Crowley still wants to hang around. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted out today. Joe Crowley stated on live TV that he would absolutely support my candidacy. Instead, he stood me up for all three scheduled concession calls. Now he's mounting a third party challenge against me and the Democratic Party and against the will of New York's Working Families Party. You may be wondering, what the hell is she talking about? So first, before I get to the story here, let me remind you of what Joe Crowley said during one of the debates. Uh, and so what I believe is that we have to unite uh, and our party make, make sure we're united when we go into this election in November. Uh, I'm willing to make a pledge tonight uh, that if you win uh, this primary uh, and have the support of the people of the 14th Congressional District, that I will fully endorse and work for your, and vociferously and robustly uh, uh, work for your election to Congress. So I think that was pretty clear. Joe Crowley says that if he loses the election, he will unite behind Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and support her in the Democratic uh, in the Democratic Party in the race in November, but check out <laughs> check out this piece from New York Times. Even in Miss Ocasio Cortez's district, the Working Families Party line was won by Mr. Crowley, who had secured that party's endorsement. Bill Lipton, state director of the Working Families Party, said he immediately reached out to Mr. Crowley's campaign to request that he vacate the line. To Mr. Lipton's chagrin, his campaign declined. Mr. Crowley will remain on the ballot in November. You'd think that, given the moment we're in, said Mr. Lipton, that Democratic leaders would want to help progressive forces unite. So, even though Joe Crowley lost the primary to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, because the Working Families Party endorsed Crowley before that primary, and because Crowley has not decided to vacate that endorsement, his name is still going to be on the ballot, meaning that votes are going to be split between Joe Crowley and Ocasio-Cortez on a ballot against a Republican. Now, here is what, here's how Joe Crowley responded. So he tweeted out, Alexandria, the race is over and Democrats need to come together. I've made my support for you clear and the fact that I'm not running. We've scheduled phone calls and your team has not followed through. I like to connect, but I'm not willing to air grievances on Twitter. And he even follows that up saying, lots of questions about Working Families Party Line was honored to have their support. I'm not running. For the record, you can only be removed from the ballot if one, you move out of New York, two, die, three, be convicted of a crime, four, accept a nomination for another office in a place I don't live. Okay, now that sounds reasonable, but if that's the case, then why does the actual state director of the Working Families Party, Bill Lipton, why did he ask Crowley to vacate the line? And Crowley declined. So we're getting some mixed signals here. If you listen to Crowley, apparently he's not running and he doesn't care to uh, push back against Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's run in November, but... If you look at the facts, if you listen to the actual state director of the Working Families Party, who needs, <laughs> who has asked Crowley to vacate his, uh, the, their support of him, Crowley hasn't done so. So, this shows you, look, I guess maybe more information will come out and this will be a little more clear, but right now it sounds like there is sort of a backroom deal happening where they're actually trying to sabotage Ocasio-Cortez's chances in November by splitting the vote between the Working Families Party and the Democratic Party. This, this shows you that the Democratic Party establishment would rather lose to a Republican than allow a progressive to win.
This is the perfect example of that. So this whole story to me is really odd because even me, someone who was very skeptical of the Democratic Party establishment, even I thought that we were done with Crowley. I did not think that this anything like this would be happening. But it appears that they only believe in unity if it means uniting behind their corrupt donors. But if you have a progressive running, no, unity, what are you talking about? No, no, no. Unity means you believe in our policies that are pushed by our big donors. But if you push, you know, crazy, crazy policies like Medicare for all that the majority of the country believe in, or, you know, higher taxes on, on the wealthy and large multinational corporations that the majority of the country also believes in. If you push these things out there, then no, no, we can't support you. We are, uh, but we're not supporting anybody else. We're not supporting the Republican. We're just going to slyly split the vote and give you less of a chance of winning. This is unbelievable.